I'm assuming that when you hear radial side draining filtration that you have no idea what that is. And that's normal because it's something that I've discovered in my 10 years of performing aquaponics and I've never seen it shown online anywhere and now I'm going to share it with you guys. So first of all, when do you use this method of filtration? This method of filtration is used when you can't lift your fish tank off the ground or you want to maintain the height of your fish tank relative to all of your other equipment. So if you have a concrete floor or you don't have the ability to drill into the bottom of your fish tank, the radial side draining filter is a good option for you. So how does this work? Basically, you're going to need a five gallon bucket as the base of your radial side draining filter. I'll put some photos here too as well, but this bucket you're gonna actually position upside down with the opening facing the bottom of your fish tank and in the center of the bottom of the bucket, which is facing up, you're going to install a air disc. I have a few photos here of how to plumb the air disc into the bottom center of the bucket. You can see the air disc has male threads on it. All you do is thread that into a female threaded elbow basically. So that pipe would basically come join the air disc, come down and come out the side of your bucket and then you would just hook that up to your air supply using some type of barbed fitting. The next thing that you're going to do is make a hole that will accommodate whatever size PVC pipe you're using to move water through your fish tank. So if you're using two inch pipe, then you're going to want to drill a hole that can accommodate two inch pipe, two inch uniseal, etc. That hole is going to go in the side of your bucket and then it's going to go into the side of your fish tank. So water is going to move through this pipe out your fish tank into your filtration. So how does water get into the bucket? There's a couple different ways that you can set your bucket up. The first is using a small bucket. You can actually put the small bucket facing up underneath the five gallon bucket facing down. You will need to weigh down the small bucket with either concrete, rocks, bricks, something of that nature. But the small bucket is going to create a little space between the large bucket and it. So water is actually going to travel underneath the large bucket and it's going to travel up the gap that's created by the small bucket and then it's going to go out that pipe that you drilled into the side of your bucket. The air disc on top of the bucket also encourages water flow and your fish tank to go like this, to go up and then down underneath the bucket and then flow out of your fish tank. This is actually a really effective way to move water from your fish tank forward. The only thing that I don't like about this method is that you have an airline that's kind of suspended in your tank. It's not that big of a deal, but if you have a net that goes into that fish tank, sometimes you can pop that airline out and then to hook it back up, the bucket's kind of stationary in place. So you have to reach in there or drain the fish tank in order to hook the airline back up. Another thing that's worth noting about this method is the area where the water leaves is large so as opposed to a solids lifting overflow where the water space is very small the radial side draining bucket has a large opening so fish will swim in it and again this can be both positive and negative if you want to keep your pipes clean fish swimming back and forth is really honestly not a big deal but if you have a really nasty treacherous settling tank right after your fish tank you don't want to lose fish that's going to come down to your system design but if you use this method of filtration, fish likely will swim in it, especially if they're small. 